Okay, now we're ready. So this is going to be part two of the um, ASMR series. Um, we're doing um, same thing uh, from the A.W. Tozer, uh, Christian Book of Mystical Verse. Uh, this poem is by, this one's a little longer. This is by Frederick Faber. It's called The Thought of God. And I'd like to read it to you. So here it goes. The thought of God, the thought of thee who liest in my heart, and yet beyond imagined space, outstretched in present art, the thought of thee above, below, around me and within, is more to me than health and wealth, or love of kith and kin. The thought of God is like the tree beneath whose shade I lie, and watch the fleets of snowy clouds sail o'er the silent sky. Tis like that soft invading light, which in all darkness shines, the thread that through life's somber web in golden pattern twines. It is a thought which ever makes life's sweetest smiles from tears, and is a daybreak to our hopes, a sunset to our fears. One, while it bids the tears to flow, then wipes them from the eyes, most often fills our souls with joy and always sanctifies. Within a thought so great, our souls little and modest grow, and by its vastness awed, we learn the art of walking slow. A wild flower on the mossy ground scarce bends its pliant form when overhead the autumnal wood is thundering like a storm so it is with our humbled souls down in the thought of god scarce conscience scarce conscious in their sober peace of the wild storms abroad to think of thee is almost prayer and his outspoken praise. And pain can even passive thoughts to actual worship raise. O oh Lord, I live always in pain. My, my life's sad under song. Pain in itself not hard to bear, but hard to bear so long. Little sometimes weighs more than much when it has no relief. A joyless life is worse to bear than one of active grief. And yet, O oh Lord, a suffering life, one grand ascent may dare, penance not self-imposed, can make the whole of life a prayer. All murmurs lie inside thy will, which are to thee addressed. To suffer for thee is our work, to think of thee our rest. Frederick Faber, who lived 1814 to 1863. Definitely uh, my favorite part that stood out the most was at the end, that just that last stanza. I'll, I'll read it again. All murmurs lie inside thy will, which are to thee addressed. To suffer for thee is our work, to think of thee our rest. And then also the line where he said, to think of thee is almost prayer and is outspoken praise. So the idea that uh, when you fix your mind on God and not bragging or anything, but I honestly feel like I experienced this earlier tonight when I was, um, while my brother was at work, when I was alone in the house, I did pray for a while and yeah, just the thought of God, just thinking focusing on him and the, him being present and um, being able to talk to him and him being able to talk to me through the Holy Spirit. It was, it was overwhelming. It was something else. It was like, kind of like being drunk, honestly, but like without, of course, any side effects and way better, way better. So, 
Yeah, and it made me think of that verse. I, f I forget where it is, but one of the, the translation of it I like, I know it's in one of the letters of Paul, but it says that uh, God has given us one spirit to drink into, he even uses drinking terminology, he says, and he has given us one spirit to drink into. And that makes me think of that. I think uh, the thought of God is a lot of that. Try to have a very exalted, uh, biblically accurate uh, view or vision of God. And, and just and then just fix your thoughts, your attention, and your focus on God as often as you can throughout the day, but especially when you're alone, especially when you're alone, because you can get alone with him and have communion, real true, the true, truest word of the, the truest meaning of the word communion. You can have that with God, with the Father, and with Jesus, and with the Holy Spirit, the entire Trinity, the entire Godhead. Anyway, I'll leave y'all with that. Bye. See you in the next video. Be blessed.